race, uh, Gabby Jennings, who is a rounded herself out to be a, a steeplechase contender, but no doubt a great 1500 meter runner. And they go to the line. And they're off here. Hannah Hermanson of Sweden, too. And the Valor Track Club, 405, 1500 meter athlete. And this is Allie Cash on the inside, but we see Ella Donahue coming back from her 3K victory to set up this race. And Eleanor Fulton goes straight to the front. And that's something that she's been, she's been working on. Um, she's an unsponsored athlete, and she knows she has to make a statement every time she goes out uh, to get some attention, too. And uh, she definitely is doing that. You know, she did not only the eight personal bests that you mentioned, but also some strong finishes in those races. It wasn't like she just was buried in the pack getting these fast times. She also got third at the Fifth Avenue Mile and was seventh at the 5K Road Championships. And you know that, that consistency across the board, both in times and in placement, is, is a really important sign for an athlete's development and success. One of Portland's favorite athletes. She lives and trains in Portland, Oregon, and she's known as the Rose City Queen there. <laughs> I've never heard of, uh, yeah, uh, I, just such love for her. <laughs> so Allie Cash sit, sitting right behind Eleanor Fulton there. Uh, Ella Donahue up front with the pacing still, and you can see Sinclair Johnson tucked in there, mm -hmm. looking real easy behind Allie Cash. So different styles of racing here, different strategies employed by these, these different athletes. And we know Sinclair Johnson can really bring the speed at the end of the race. And she did that to win the national title, running 4.03, closing in under 60 seconds mm -hmm. for 400 meters, which is something that's tough to deal with for competitors. Yeah, I mean, in terms of personal best, 358.85 is uh, about five seconds, four or five seconds quicker than the next fastest personal best that we have in this race, but it is early season. Personal bests um, don't dictate all, but it definitely tells you that, that that capability, that engine is there. And you know, for Sinclair to have Eleanor, or to, excuse me, to have Ella pacing this race is really, really helpful to know that it's gonna get out strong and not become messy and chaotic. Um, the athletes are bunched together, so there's a lot of people that are out here wanting to get after it. The indoor standard uh, for U.S. athletes, at least, is 409, which is a 33 per 200, 30, uh, 66 seconds per 400. Um, and thus far, they've been right around around there. So close to a lap back, they came through 800 meters in 212 as Ella Donahue stepped off the track. And now it's all Eleanor Fulton uh, up in the front with Sinclair Johnson and Gabby Jennings and Allie Cash. And that is the four that is separating themselves right now. And... Uh, Gabby Jennings really had a great year last year, stepping up to the, or through the steeplechase and really making herself known on the scene there. So I would look for her mm -hmm. as we get into these last couple laps as a as a real threat in this race too. Allie Cash had a uh, an, an injury year last year, so something that she was dealing with, but she's back with a vengeance. Like I said, opening up in 4:34. And Sinclair Johnson to the front right now, and Gabby Jennings is going with her as well. So taking it before a lap to go. Sinclair Johnson taking control of this race and ratcheting down the pace. She is the fan favorite, getting 200 votes. And that's the bell lap. Sinclair Johnson of the Union Athletics Club stretching the field here. And you can see the cadence pick up with those pink spikes turning over faster and faster. Here it is, 100 meters to go. This is all Sinclair Johnson. And such a relaxed look on her face, too, as she makes her way around the turn. Not straining, not concerned, just looking up. A great distance here. And 4.08 for the win. 30 seconds for the last uh, 200 meters looking. It's deceiving, really. You know, she, she, she runs a 30 second 200 meter split and just looks smooth and relaxed and you would you know you could easily be fooled to think it was something much slower but i think that speaks to you know once again i mean this is 10 seconds slower than her personal best not that it's easy it's never easy but she has gotten the u.s indoor standard um for the internationals which will be in albuquerque and she 
closed in a strong finish coming out of altitude training, which hasn't been the easiest in flag because of the snow and the logistics.